You have to have an idea of what your next stage is. And you can choose any escalation you like. So you can choose verbal escalation, you can choose uh, physical escalation, you can choose logistical escalation, you can choose escalation through the steps of the system. Those are four good options you can choose. But at every point in the interaction, you need to be thinking, what is the next step and how do I get there? That's the framework you need to have. So let's say you had a verbal escalation kind of view on things, right? So, okay, I haven't been physical at all. Or, did I say verbal? I said, did I say verbal or physical? Verbal. Okay. Let's say you had a physical escalation way of looking at things, right? Let's say you haven't been physical at all, right? Well, if I'm talking to you, I haven't been physical at all. Well, the first physical move I'm going to make isn't going to be a big one, especially if we've been talking for a few minutes I haven't. But then, like, maybe, like, you say something, you're, like, a kind of a soft story, like, oh, poor girl, what are we going to do with you, right? And now I've broken the physical barrier. Now, maybe the next step after that, maybe we're sitting, would be um, to, like, if you, in certain places, like, hey, like, pull her up and, like, hey, let's dance, right? Maybe that's a, that's a much bigger physical escalation. And then from there, on the dance floor, you can do stuff like hugging, lifting her up, kissing her, different things like that. But the point is, you have a sequence of steps, right? And what I would ask you to do if you chose physical as your, like, your kind of driving sequence, you could call it, then what you should do is have a sequence of moves, right? And we used to teach this on, like, we'd have, have uh, an exercise on, on boot camps where this is what we'd do, is, like, your job is to go in and first you're going to handshake, and then you're going to high five, and then you're, like, spin the girl around dance style, and then you're going to hug her, and then you're going to lift her up in the air, and then you're going to make out with her. And it's not like you're going to do all those things one after another after another. Although some students would. You give them this exercise and they try and do all of them in the first 20 seconds. <laughs> which would sometimes work, but it also weird some girls out. But the idea is once you've done one, your goal is to get to the next one and then your goal is to get to the next one. It doesn't matter if it takes 10 seconds between or 5 minutes between. It's just the goal is the next one. You know you're driving to that next step. And if you're not progressing to the next step, you're stagnating in the set. You're not going anywhere. Right? Now, if you did try a move and it didn't work, then you'd like back off, chill out, get the vibe good, and then try maybe not the same move, but something of an equivalent level, and then just keep escalating. All right, so that's physical escalation sequence, and that could be your driving escalation. And if you do that, it's natural that the conversation is going to follow. Right? So if you start dancing with a girl and getting more physical, it's natural that the conversation is going to get more sexual and intimate too. Right? It's also natural as you're dancing around and getting more physical, it's natural you might pull the girl over to the bar, pull her to sit down, and so the... the um, um, Logistical escalation can follow the physical as well. Because when you're escalating one way, it's only natural to escalate on the other levels. That make sense? So you could choose physical escalation as a driver. You could also choose verbal escalation as a driver. So maybe you have a couple premise lines that you're going to use early on. Maybe one that's like subtle premise, one or two that are more like explicit premise. Then maybe you have some evaluation lines. And then maybe you have some like kind of narrative, we like each other now lines. And then you have a close. Right? And your job could be you have this list of like eight lines you're going to use. The rest of your set, you're doing completely whatever, but you're going to do first line one. And then once you've done line one, you're going to talk, talk, talk. And at some point, you're going to drop line two in. At some point, line three. Right? And then now you're driving the set forward with verbal escalation. Right? And it's natural, as you're escalating verbally, it might make sense to get more physical. It might make sense to take a girl to go sit down where you can be more intimate, especially when you're getting into evaluation and narrative. Right? And so you use the verbal as the driving force, but you're still going to be escalating all these levels. And so for you, what you might do, if you're used to driving the set verbally, but you're kind of nervous about getting physical or something, for one night, go out and use a physical stack. And just trust the verbal is going to fill in because you're used to it, and make yourself escalate physically. Okay. Um, you could also, by the way, you could also choose a logistical escalation stack. So now it's, it's a set of venues. So you have the venue where you met the girl. Um, so maybe it's like meet the girl, and then like next step is like take her to the bar to sit down or to your friends. Something like that, in the club venue. right? And then maybe the next, next move that you want to make is to move her just outside of the club. Let's go to the smoke. Let's go like it's, it's a little warm in here. Let's go to the smoking area just fast to like get like the where we can like get some fresh air. All right? And then the next step maybe is take her to like oh just down the street and then to back to near your place and then your place. And again, as you're escalating through this, it's going to make sense to a certain extent at least to escalate verbally and possibly to escalate physically. So you can use physicality as the driving force. Or the final one, and I think this, I think this is the best one to have as a general way, but it, it's, you, it's good to practice the other ones because they're more explicit. I think the best general one is to have the stages of the system as your driving force. All right, I'm going to open. Once I'm open, I'm going to start doing a prem, some premise lines, then some evaluation, et cetera, et cetera. All right? um, but whatever the driving force in your set is, you need to be progressing. Right? And ideally, like over time, you're kind of driving with all of them together, and it just becomes like 
natural for you and normal for you to escalate. That's the, the end goal. But if you're having trouble escalating, it's good to have that explicit stack where I have this checklist of I do this, then this, then this, then this.